Welcome to Smacky's Garage. Today we're going to be going through changing the chain case fluid in your snowmobile. To be able to get to the chain case fluid, we're going to end up taking out the battery box. So unfortunately on these sleds, you know, the best way to inspect them is to look at the dipstick, which is located here. You want to look at it for any sort of metal shavings. And then to open up the actual cover itself. So to get to the cover and to be able to take it off and take a look, you actually need to take off this chain case cover right here. Not the easy, it's not the easiest thing to do because you have some things in the way, but it should only take you about 10 or 15 minutes. So let's go ahead and start taking apart the cover. To take the battery box out, there's gonna be two screws that you need to take out. There's gonna be one over here, which also holds the ground screw, and there's gonna be one underneath and in this hole, which attaches it to the, it looks like it attaches it to the, either the engine, the frame, or the chain case itself. So we're gonna go ahead and take those out. This side is a 10 millimeter nut, so it should just loosen up easily. To remove the cover, we're gonna have four screws. So one, two, three, and four, and then that exhaust bracket, and we should be good to go. So for the exhaust bracket, you should use, there's a special tool to take them off. There's other ways to do it, but the tool makes it a lot easier. So I always recommend using this tool because, you know, being able to just put this on and then pull it out is so much easier than trying to cherry rig something yourself. So that is off. Now we can start draining the oil. So as we do this, we can start seeing the oil drain out below and it's draining into the pan underneath. All right, while it's draining, we will talk about what's in here. So you have your jack shaft, which comes through the chassis right here. It's attached to the brake. That's what the clutch is driving on the other side. That's bringing the engine, that's bringing all the power from the engine to this side. So with that, the power comes here. This chain actually transfers the energy through this gear into the track through the drive gears. Now that we've gone through and we've inspected the chain and the gears, we're gonna turn our attention to the tensioning bolt. So this bolt right here is the tensioning bolt. We're gonna make a, an adjustment to it, see if it needs to be tensioned anymore. What we're gonna do is we're gonna remove this clip here, and then we're gonna turn this in as hard as we can by hand. For me, it's not that far. And then you end up rotating it back to getting this clip back in. I didn't need to add any more tension to it. Mine was already in a good position, so the chain hasn't stretched. So let's go ahead and get this back together. All right, now that we have this mostly cleaned out and it's looking good, we can clean the, make sure the gasket cover on here is good and then we'll end up putting it back together. So let's go ahead and start screwing this piece back together. All right, let's go ahead and get this back together and then we can refill it with oil. We'll get the correct amount in there and then check everything out. We're gonna start with around six to eight ounces and see where we end up on the dipstick. All right, now we're gonna go ahead and check the dipstick. So let's go ahead and pull it out. Looking at the dipstick, we can see that the oil is actually up above the low level and about right at the top. So that's the location that we're gonna to use to ensure that it's filled. So now I'll go ahead and put this back in. All right, now that we have the oil in, I'm gonna finish putting the rest of it back together. And then I'm gonna end up checking it before my first ride, after my first ride, and a few times after that. I wanna make sure that this doesn't run dry, we don't see any metal shavings in it, and it's performing as it should. Thanks for tuning in on Smack His Garage today. Don't forget to like and subscribe.